So I'm going to start a new drawing by clicking this drop down arrow, select new. And since I'm using inches, I'm going to use a CAD 3D template for imperial units and click open. Just going to adjust my window. So go to view, tile vertically. I'm going to move my reference drawing to the other side. So just click this window and select uh, or click tile vertically again. And I'm going to bring my drawing to front view. So click custom view, select front, and I'm gonna use parallel projection. So just click this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now I'm gonna start my drawing from this endpoint. From this endpoint here. So L for line. And before proceeding, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on ortho mode or polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and selection cycling i'm gonna use ortho mode this time so l for line click anywhere on the screen move your cursor downward for point 44. and then go sideways to the left for point 64. and go downward so from this point here downward for 0 0.05 and then to the side for 0.63 and then enter I stopped there because uh, the angle is not given so what I'm gonna do is start from this endpoint here and draw a construction line so the line here is given from this endpoint to this point is 2.23 so L for line from in point downward for 2.23 and go sideways and the distance is 2.28 as shown here. So line in point for 2.28. Now we could start, I could uh, delete that one now. And start my drawing from here, from this in point. So line, in point, go to the right for 0.5, upward for 0.89, and then connect the in points. I could delete this now and start a line from this point upward so l for line in point go upward for 0.96 and then sideways to the right 0.3 and go upward for 0.44 which is this one here and then again and from 0 0.08 from this in point. So line in point for 0 0.08. And then uh, go upward for 0 0.54. And then connect the in point. So just click that in point. There you go. So now I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command. So J, enter, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I could revolve this object now. So it's either I could type in REV or you can go to home and inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select revolve command. Select the object you want to revolve, enter, and specify axis start point. So click this in point. Go sideways, just make sure it's straight. And specify angle of revolution. You can either enter zero or 360 degrees. There you go. I'm just gonna turn off the grid 
and now I'm gonna create a polygon of five sides so this is a pentagon and uh, but first I have to make sure that my z-axis vector is parallel to the direction of the polygon so Z click anywhere on the screen and just point it to this direction now I'm gonna draw a circle so the radius for this one is 0.47 so C for circle snap the center and enter 0.47 and enter uh, select polygon inside the draw panel enter 5 for the number of sides and specify center point of polygon so click that center and select inscribe in circle and just snap any quadrant i'm going to check the drawing for the thickness so it's 0.64 looking from front view so extrude command inside the modeling panel click just drop down arrow and select extrude or you can type in ext so select the polygon enter and extrude it for 0.64 now we're done, so I'm just going to union the objects. So inside the solid editing panel, select union command, select the extruded uh, polygon. Now it's done. So Again, I'm going to start my drawing from front view. And start from this endpoint here. So L4 line click anywhere on the screen and make sure to turn on your ortho, ortho mode and enter point 26 and move to the right for point 64 just gonna bring this one closer and this one closer there you go so L for line click the endpoint Bring your cursor downward for 0 0.17, 0 0.49 to the right, downward for 0.48, and then uh, to the right again for 0 0.17, 0 0.17, and bring it downward for 0 0.81. And another line from info one to the right for 0.29 and bring it upward for 0.95 and then bring it to the left for 0.29 and then bring it upward for 0.63 enter and then connect the two points by using by clicking this line here or this in point all right and as you can see here there is uh, an arc in between these two points so i'm gonna use circle command click the midpoint and enter point one for the radius of the arc and then use trim command so tr for trim command enter twice and just click that remove this one now we're gonna join the segments so J for join command and just window the whole thing now this is one object now I could revolve this um, object so REV for revolve command select the object to revolve enter and specify axis start point by clicking this in point here go sideways or you can go that way as long as it's straight and enter zero or 360 degrees and enter just gonna turn off the grid now i'm gonna attach the handle which is the this one here this one which is a pentagon but first, I'm going to change the direction of my Z-axis vector or Z-axis vector. I want it to be perpendicular. You can click anywhere on the screen. I want it to be perpendicular to the direction of the extrusion of the polygon. And the 
radius that we're gonna use for the polygon is 0.47. So C for circle, snap the center and enter 0.47. Now I'm gonna use uh, polygon command inside the draw panel and type in five to make it a pentagon and click the center and select inscribe in circle and just snap that uh, quadrant. Now the thickness for this one is uh, over here, 0.64. So extrude command so just use ext for extrude command select the polygon and extrude it for 0.64 now union the object so inside the union so inside the solid editing panel select uh, union command and just select this one and this one now this is one object i'm gonna move this one somewhere here so i could erase this uh, circle all right and i think i'm done so this is the nozzle cap the smaller size the first one what that we did is the bigger size for the bigger nozzle and uh, i think i'm done so the next uh, tutorial would be assembling or doing the remaining parts then assemble the objects so thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. And please don't forget to comment, like, so, you know, it helps my um, video. Thank you. Bye-bye.